Meeting 13, Execution and Controlling Part 4. In this meeting, we'll talk about the understanding of process in execution and monitoring, specifically in project communication management, understanding the process of monitoring and controlling in project risk management. Now, as you remember that the project management is divided into five process groups and starting from planning until finishing and it intersects with project management knowledge areas what we're going to talk today in project communication management and project risk management is this and this communication management exists in execution and controlling groups while risk management exists in controlling groups the details can be seen here the process groups of execution project communication management have one process in monitoring and controlling process group project communication management have one process and in monitoring and controlling process group project risk management have one process let's start with the first project communication management the process itself is called manage communication in execution group process 90 percent of manager time is used for communication many uh, management problem can be caused by miscommunication and uh, the problem is differs from one project to another but the red line is sorry the red ribbon is if we have a good communication plan starting from the plan communication on the plan process group then we as a team can know how to communicate within the parts of our uh, team in this project. In the communication management plan, we have to know what, who, when, and how. What is, what is the communicated items? What is uh, the things that need to be communicated? Who is, who the stakeholder that needs the information or give the information? When? when will be uh, the information needed or, or taken how how the communication is uh, done what medium what formality and who is the person responsible in distributing the information and if there is a problem what is the escalation procedure now this communication management plan is from plan communication and it's uh, reflected in the project documents updates in managed communication itself it is how we create how we collect how we distribute store review and disposition of the project information according to the communication management plan let's say like this this is the plan communication that uh, we created in our planning process group. Okay. And this output from plan communication becomes the input for managed communication, which is communication management plan, work performance report, enterprise environmental factor, organizational process assets. Using these tools and techniques, which is communication technology, communication models, communication methods, information management system, such as hard copies or electronics, and performance reporting to output the project communication, the project management plan updates, the project documents updates, and organizational process assets updates. In the controlling process, project communication management consists of one process, 
control the communication. Control communication means monitoring and controlling communication throughout the entire project life cycle to ensure that the information needs of the project stakeholders are met. It is the same using the planned communication output to become its input using tools and techniques such as information management system, expert judgment, and meetings to create the outputs of work performance info, change requests, project management plan updates, project document updates, and organizational process assets updates. Before I go on, I will state it in Indonesian. Monitoring and controlling of risk management. Definition first. Project risk is uncertain events or condition that, if it occurs, have positive or negative effect on at least one project objective. We can remember that the main project objective is constrained within time, cost, cost, scope, and quality. There are positive risks that the impact will benefit the project and there are negative risks that will uh, change and need our uh, proactive to mitigate the problem that arises. So the monitoring and control risk in project risk management have uh, one process which is in the control group process, it called monitor and control risk. The definition is, it is the process of implementing risk response, time, <coughs> response plan, tracking identified risk, monitoring e residual risk, identifying new risks, and evaluating risk process effectiveness throughout the project. So this is uh, almost nonstop process until uh, we can make sure that there are no further risks that we need to uh, take into consideration. The monitor and control risks is taken from the output of plan risk management. As always, we must have a plan risk management beforehand that tells us what is the methodology, the approach to uh, registers the risk, who responsible, what is about the budget, when, and the risk categories, the definition, and so on. It becomes the inputs for risk registers, project management plan, work performance data, and work performance report. And we can use tools and techniques such as risk assessment, risk audits, performance review, variance analysis, trends analysis, technical performance measure, reserve analysis, and meetings to create the outputs of work performance information, change requests, recommended corrective action, recommended preventive action, and so forth.